an amazing 28 DSBH White Hawk by Jayco here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, bunkhouse travel trailer. Uh, this is the uh, member of Jayco's uh, lightweight line. And, uh, you know, there's more lightweights out there now than ever, ever before. So why look at Jayco? Why the White Hawk? Why not another brand? That's the kind of things I want to show you here in this video. First of all, the construction is vastly different from the majority of lightweights out there. There are some manufacturers that will do many of the things I'll show you in this video, but very few that'll do everything in this video. For instance, vacuum lamination, if you're not familiar with that. Long story short, this entire wall, uh, go the entire side wall here goes in like a giant food saver bag and they suck out the air. Um, and that's how they, they bond the, uh, the fiberglass skin to the substructure. Now what's interesting is when you do that, you pull the air out of the bead foam and uh, you pull the resins and glues into it. It makes the whole wall essentially water repellent not water absorbent. It's a very big difference between lamination methods. So if you're looking at another lightweight and it's not vacuum laminated, it may not be one you want to really consider for long-term investment. Short-term, most anything is fine. Uh, but that's the thing is most everything looks good on a dealer's lot and they generally cost pretty similar. Uh, you know, so, so why get one that's not built better? That's my question. Um, your suspension system here, they're using a wide stance suspension that'll actively help fight swaying going down the road. You notice the nice uh, aluminum wheels making that look even sharper. Um, standard here in the Summit Edition, we have the full frameless windows. And what's neat about that is you can't see the window seal. It keeps the window seal protected from the sun and wind and rain and elements. Now you'll find a lot of lightweights. Almost every travel trailer nowadays seems to have a power awning, but there's different grades. There's like a 600, 300, 900 series on the motor. Jayco uses the stronger motor series. Uh, same thing with your power tongue jack. Jayco uses a better grade of tongue jack and uh, awning motors. That means they move faster, they last longer, they don't burn out as easy. Uh, it's a better grade of product. Now, um, a calling card and a signature part of the White Hawk family has always been the little uh, college guy mini fridge out here in the, uh, the pass-through storage. Um, on models that don't have a front pass-through, you'll find a, uh, a fridge like this in the rear kitchen. But this is here just to, as a convenience measure. And what's interesting is on this floor plan, it really accomplishes most of what those 35-foot two-slide bunkhouses do in a 28-foot one-slide bunkhouse because you can put a grill on the rear bumper. You do have a, a fridge outside here. You do still have the second entry door straight to the bathroom, so it, it does handle m the majority of those 32-foot um, you know, uh, needs. Now, um, where was I going with that? The, uh, oh, second entry door. That seems a little strange to first-timers, but uh, if you've ever been in a camper and you've been out with kids, you know that they're constantly in and out using the bathroom. Mom, Dad, I got a potty. Just constantly, they're in and out. I don't know what it is. Around my house, my kids never use the bathroom. Uh, when I'm in a camper, it's every five minutes. I, I don't know if it's because we pump them full of Kool-Aid on the campsite or what. But uh, that, that second door to the bathroom cuts down on a lot of foot traffic. Now, exceptionally large baggage door. And to show that, I've grabbed a box from an RV microwave. So you know how big a microwave is. A box has to be even bigger to fit it. Notice that with one hand and not really trying, I can easily fit this thing in here. And there's still room all the way around it. So that's how big the front pass-through storage in here is. And this, this big door is the difference between having to use things like only folding bag chairs or like the nice Faulkner Zero Gravity chairs or even just aluminum folding lawn chairs. This can handle bigger stuff. Um, back to construction real quick. Walk up to other lightweights. Look at the sidewalls there slide out and punch it. You can do that on a Jayco because it's fully vacuum laminated. And I mean walk that thing you will find out that uh, most of these brands, the, the side walls of the slide out, the rear wall of the camper, they wobble when you hit on them because there's, there's, it's, it's, not, it's not laminated. There's, the structure isn't there. Again, you can pound on a Jayco all day. And uh, your roof, this has the same type of roof on it that they basically put in like a Pinnacle or an Eagle Premier. Very high dollar uh, fifth wheels, things that can retail over $100,000. Essentially, the same roof structure here. Um, it's something crazy. It's, it's like 300 or 350 pounds per square foot, meaning one foot by one foot square. That's incredible. You don't normally find that in lightweight trailers. Um, the little sticker down here indicates glacier package. What that is telling us is we do have uh, an enclosed uh, underbelly here. But notice, Jayco puts their underbelly enclosure 
on top of the frame rail. They don't bolt it to the bottom of the frame rail. When it's bolted to the bottom of the frame rail, um, over time that, that material will start to sag and you can see how it can create a gap in there. Well, you know, Jayco's is always going to stay straight. It'll never form that gap. It's a big, big difference. Step inside here. Oh, one more thing. Your power awning does have an LED light strip up here. You see that white and yellow thing? That's a big full LED white strip. So at night you kick that on and it'll give your whole patio a really nice bright glow. Um, it, uh, you know, you won't have direct light blinding someone. It won't bother the neighbors if you leave it on. Now let's start from the top and work our way down. Up here at the ceiling, I like how they're using this darker batten strips because it draws attention to the fact that this does have a barreled roof or a vaulted roof or a radius, whatever you want to call it. The entire roof slopes like this. It means that at the top, this thing is seven foot tall. That makes all the difference in the world when you're in the shower or if you're in that upper bunk. It gives you so much more space. Um, still up here, you see that we have the big skylight in the living room letting in just a flood of light. When I don't point the camera right at it with no lights on, on an awful overcast rainy day, nice and bright and comfortable in here. Um, LED lights, standard. Even in your pass-through storage up front, you have LED light fixtures, so you're not going to constantly swap around uh, incandescent bulbs that burn out. Um, our air conditioning systems on these, we typically, not always, but typically upgrade to a 15,000 air instead of a 13.5. And that's actually a good quick thing to mention. I say typically because not every single one of these we bring in will look and be equipped exactly the same as you see in this video. Some might have different color sofa and dinette or different options. Always double check our pictures and our listings to make sure you're getting exactly what you want. And if you're not sure, call. We want to make sure it's the right one because we want you happy to tell people come by from Halitz. Um, full high to bed sofa. This folds out into a trifold, uh, trifold memory foam sofa. Apparently that's difficult to say. Now I stumbled onto something with their dinettes here that is very new and very cool. You look at it, it's, it's, it's just a dinette, right? It's like every other dinette. However, if you look under here, you see that mechanism? You pull this lever and this entire table can move out of the way. And I thought, huh, why does it do that? And then I spotted this handle over here, and, and I thought, what is, well, what does that do? Well, kind of cool, actually. You pop these two little cushions off, and keep in mind, I'm doing this with one hand. I don't have a second hand to do this. I pull up on this, and it creates an extra lounge chair. I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was so cool. And they slide the table aside so that uh, when you are sitting here, let me spin around on you real quick. You can sit here, you can pop your arm on this table, perfect spot to have a drink. You can kind of chat with the person that's cooking, you got lots of leg room. You have the perfect view of the television right here. This is, this is Grand Central Station for viewing. It is absolutely awesome. It is, it's such a cool, unique feature. I've never seen anything like it. And to put it down, it's just as easy. Simply pull back to release the mechanism. It drops down. We put our two little cushions back on here. And that's it. So, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds of, of readjusting your dinette cushions real quick. And again, I'm only doing this with one hand. And we're back. That's all there is to it. And then again, this entire, and the other thing I thought of is like, I'm a big guy. I can slide the table over. I can push it toward my small wife and kid. And I'm a big guy. I can fit over here no problem. Or you can just simply put it right back in the middle. But the fact that this thing moves and it works so easily and when you let go of that bar, it locks in place. It won't go anywhere. It's awesome. I've never seen anything like that, and you're going to start seeing everybody do that. I guarantee it. It's so cool. Um, your cabinetry in here is fantastic, and it goes right along with the construction of the exterior. Everything in a Jayco generally is just a touch better. That is why they typically carry twice the warranty of anybody else in this class. I'll say that again. Twice the warranty. That's huge. Um, the refrigerator here standard is an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer that's uh 33 percent larger than the normal fridge in a lightweight trailer pretty cool and you know you're not paying extra for that when they standardize that construction then it uh it becomes a normal thing and they can they can price for it accordingly now also these panels uh sometimes are uh ma are, they're metal like you see here so they can be magnetic like you see there now right next to the refrigerator we have this gigantic wardrobe or pantry floor to ceiling space that you see right here but notice that hanging bar up there kind of makes you wonder 
These are removable shelves, so you can convert this space to anything you want, wardrobe, pantry, whatever, whenever. Now when you're climbing to the upper bunk, it can be a little bit of a trick, so they just added a little handle up here. Small little things like that. They, they paid attention to consumers and said it's tricky to get in the upper bunk, so they just put a little handle in. It's, it's just simple. Um, again, perfect uh, like linen cabinet over here for extra towels or just extra pantry space. You can never get enough storage in an RV. There is storage under the lower bunk. Uh, this bunk here is 600 pound rated. I've seen some of these double upper bunks as low as 350. That's barely enough for one person to toss and turn at night, let alone two. And you can sleep two adults up here. Also, all of your bedding in here, your sofa, your uh, your uh, bunk mats here, your master bed, our Denver mattress brand, home furnishings. This is residential grade. It's 50% thicker and lasts longer than virtually anything else you're going to find in a bunkhouse. Uh, the second door to the bathroom leads us back here to a very generous bath space. If you're looking for leg room by your toilet, you got it. And notice this is still a foot flush, not a centrifugal flush, meaning you have to pull on that little silver handle and get your face near your business. You don't have to do that here. And again, the extra height in the bathroom means you don't have to duck in the shower. LED lighting all the way through. And notice that they mounted the mirror on an angle so that you don't have to stand sideways to like try to shave or brush your teeth or comb your hair. They mount it on an angle, exactly like it's supposed to be. And that sounds silly, but do you know how very rare that is? How very few manufacturers take the time to mount stuff properly like that? It's easier for them to mount it flat against the wall, sure. That doesn't make it better. Um, the uh, front bedroom here. Uh, notice that on the way up, this is one of my favorite parts of RVs, is uh, a shoe garage. The smallest, dumbest thing. It doesn't cost anything, and it's really negative space, but it's what it does for you. In a bunkhouse like this with a lot of people, the shoes end up in this big, ugly, clunky pile by the door, and you're liable to trip on them walking in and out. But if you have a little spot, you can shove them out of the way. It's, it looks cleaner. It, it's easier. It's just There's just less headache that goes into it. Your stereo does everything. AM, FM, CD, DVD enabled, even Bluetooth enabled for, uh, you know, white, or Bluetooth enabled devices. Your TV obviously is on a bit of a spinner design here. It can spin around to face the bedroom. I, I wanted to leave it like this though so that you get to see the Jayco takes the time to finish it off. They do put a mirror on the backside so that it does look good. Um, you can easily see right here, mom and dad do get privacy doors up front so you can close off the bedroom and you, uh, you, know, you can sort of just have your own private space up front. Uh, I think mom and dad get left behind in bunk houses most of the time. And look at, let me walk you around the other side here because this is awesome. Look at the size of these windows here in the bedroom. They're absolutely enormous. They just let in a ton of light. And this bed is a full queen bed, 80 inch queen, not a shorter camper queen. And it's this this bigger bed is not the reason to go with a Jayco. The shoe garage I told you about is not the reason to go with a Jayco. The fact that they put USB plugs here to help you charge your phones at night is not the reason to go with a Jayco. It's all of this stuff together that makes this one of the best options you can imagine. And every travel trailer is the best for a different reason, but White Hawks are the best for a lot of them. And that's why they're so popular. And uh, again, double the warranty, double the assurance. Uh, give us a call here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, 800-256-5196. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.